Ever hear the saying, fake it till you make it? Well, one of the best ways to sound like a professional is to emulate what the professionals say and how they say it. You continue doing this until you find your own unique approach. In this video, we'll cover the five most common traits of professional freight brokers so you can implement them today and start closing more customers. I'm Benjamin Kowalski with Freight360, where we provide the latest transportation sales tips and training videos to help you reach your goals faster. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button to be notified when we drop our weekly videos. And all of the links and details will be found in the description box below. For more free content, please be sure to check out our website, freight360.net, to access our entire library. I would say of all of the five tips we'll cover, the first two are the most overlooked. Many rookies roll their eyes when we teach this at the big box brokerages. They'd say, this is fluff. It won't really help me get more customers. I can tell you from first and secondhand experience, it's absolutely vital. Drum roll please. It's your tone of voice and rate of speech. Nobody wants to purchase something or do business with somebody with no or low energy. Think about when you've made a purchasing decision with a salesperson, right? Was that person as excited or more excited than you were about their product? The last time you purchased a car, was the salesperson moping around the showroom and dragging their feet, or were they standing tall, smiling, and projecting confidence? You can't get somebody over the buying line in sales without a transference of emotion, and the prospect is never going to bring that energy. It's up to us to bring it and project it in the call. If somebody is talking at this slow rate of speech, I'm going to increase mine slightly above theirs. Nothing crazy. I'm not screaming and yelling like a Memorial Day mattress commercial, but just enough to bring them up a bit from where they were. And I really can't stress this enough. Here are a few tips specifically to help you bring the energy when you need to close a prospect. Smile. Stand up to make your calls occasionally. First off, smiling automatically changes your tone of voice and your brain chemistry. And standing up periodically increases your blood flow and your energy. And if you're really feeling down after a rough call or maybe some trucking issues, do a few jumping jacks. Seriously, there was a handful of people in our office that in order to change their tone and their mood would do a couple push-ups, jumping jacks, or just take a walk around the building. It helps to get your blood flowing and change your frame of mind. Now, some tips to execute the tone of voice. Pay attention to the regions of the country you're calling into. The Northeast tends to speak fast and to the point. The Southern states tend to have a slower tempo. And the Midwest has a tempo all to itself. The same with the West Coast. Next up, connecting with a prospect quickly. How do the pros do it? Simple, they practice their small talk. The top performing salespeople around the globe are masters at small talk. Again, this tip always elicits eye rolls from rookies and trainees. How is talking about the weather or someone's weekend plans going to help me get more load tenders and more business, right? Well, think about every person you've ever met for the first time. Did you both jump right into talking about your deepest personal thoughts? Or did you do the small talk dance until you were both comfortable enough to take the conversation to a deeper level? It's no different in a prospecting call. If you jump prematurely into asking questions without connecting in some way, it comes across as pushy and intrusive. The best places to practice this outside of prospecting is in your daily life. Spend time connecting with a person in line at the grocery store. Have some small talk with your pharmacist or maybe your barista at Starbucks tomorrow morning. Small talk is like everything else in life. The more you practice it, the more it becomes second nature. The next tip, go hand in hand with small talk. And if you follow our channel, you've heard me say this more than once. God gave us two ears and one mouth. Use them proportionately. Most rookies think that the way to close or sell a customer is to talk them into working with you. Unfortunately, when we take that approach, the only thing we're focused on is what? 
what we want, not what's important to the prospect. You should never be talking about your services or presenting your company until you have uncovered a need. And this is worth repeating. You should never be presenting your company or your product until you've asked enough questions to uncover their need or uncovered that there isn't a need to begin with. Both are equally acceptable outcomes. The goal isn't to make everyone a customer. It's to ask enough questions to determine if there's a fit for the two of you to do business together. And finally, have something in it for them. If you want the person you've cold called out of the blue and interrupted their day to listen to you, you'd better be damn sure you've got something worth their time to talk about. And to be honest, this can be anything from, we send trucks into your facility and would like to see if there's a fit to handle some of your outbound loads. It could be that, you're, that you service their vendors or their customers. It may be that your company works only within their commodity niche. The point is, have something lined up for your prospects that gives them a reason to talk to you for more than a few seconds. If you're having trouble with this, try putting yourself in their shoes. Think about what would be important to you if you were responsible for their warehouse and pickups. Remember that our prospects and our customers, they're dealing with the exact same issues we are with the truck drivers. Now, what's most important about everything we've just discussed is practice and consistency. The more you practice these things, the faster you will progress in your career. We work with so many clients that believe you can put these tips into practice just by watching a video or listening to a podcast. There's a Ben Franklin quote, tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. No one ever learned to ride a bike by watching a video. You have to get on the bike and do the thing. You learn by taking the knowledge you've accumulated and putting it into practice every single day until it becomes a habit, part of you. For more on becoming an advanced freight broker, be sure to watch our weekly podcast on our channel and check out the description and the links for group and private coaching. Because remember, whether you believe you can or believe you can't, you're right.